Today, I'm not going to a theme park. Instead, I'm gonna bring you with me to do a day in the life living in Orlando, Florida. Starting here at home, and I'm gonna take you out. We're gonna go out and do a few things, talk about some updates, and hang out. Sam, are you ready for your debut? I'm ready. <laughs> so what are you doing today? So today, well, right now I'm drinking my one o'clock coffee, <laughs> you know. How many coffees? is this today? This is actually my first coffee. Today. Oh, I'm shocked. Mm -hmm. We both drink quite a bit of yeah, coffee. Normally, normally it'll be all, I'll be on my second or third. Yeah. I had a late start today with the coffee. Okay. Uh, what I've actually been doing mm -hmm. is I'm editing one of my videos in here. That's right. Yeah. Sometimes you will ask me, where's Sam? Well, Sam is working on Expedition Theme Park. Yes. So right now, I've written the script for this video, mm -hmm. I've recorded the audio, mm -hmm. I've researched it, obviously that was first. Yeah. Um, edited the audio, and now I am editing the actual video. Nice. So, nearly done. I'm gonna take them out with me today. Oh yeah? We're Wait. gonna go hang out, do some stuff. You, you know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and then over here is my area, and I've shown this a few times in a few videos, but this is, you know, like a lot of people, I spend a good chunk of time doing stuff on the computer. I, when I'm editing videos or doing other computer work, this is where I am. This is my little shelf. It's nice and cozy. Some, some people ask what you edit on. You yeah. You edit on Final Cut. Yeah, I do. Mac, I use Final Cut Pro. Yes, I edit on Premiere Pro. Yep. But uh, I use PC. The PC that you built. I did build this PC. Yeah. Look at it. Oh, it's Beautiful. It is beautiful, and you also <laughs> built this desk for us. Sam got the wood, cut it, sanded it, stained it, put this all together, and made us a beautiful one long desk to share. Yes, I, I love our desk. I do too. <laughs> we also have a lot of bean pots. We really do. Um, we actually cut down on some of it, but we have a lot, as you can imagine. I still don't know what to do with this figment popcorn bucket, so I just kind of shoved it on this shelf. Cool. But it is kind of cool, right? Like when it lights up, it's real neat. My hair is getting so long. Yeah, Sam is growing his hair out, by the way. We did a whole thing in the Mardi Gras video where we talked about it and then edited it out because sometimes bits go on very long. Right, like now, this one. right now, it's in that phase of it looks awful. But, no, it looks cute. <laughs> but yeah, it looks. But I'm hoping, you know. You know, yeah. Get some long hair. Yeah, he's given it a try. In my life, I'd like to have long hair just to try it. That's thing. okay though. But Sam is in a lot of videos, so you'll see him in them, and he'll be in some coming up. But for today, we're going out, yes. and we'll see you when we get back. Hopefully, I will have this edited by the time you get back. Have fun. <laughs> Thank you. We will. This is a direct uh, result of living near the theme parks. I have a pile of Mardi Gras beads in the passenger seat because the other night we were at the. Mardi Gras celebration at Universal Orlando. Actually, Mardi Gras is tomorrow. Fat Tuesday is tomorrow, the day this video should come out. So, this week, so happy Mardi Gras! All right, the first stop of the day. I'm always on the hunt for a new local coffee shop and I looked up this one and it got good reviews and it looks really cute and it looks like the vibes I'm going for. So we're gonna pop in and get a coffee, hang out for a bit and I just love finding new local places. So let's go. And I decided that since it's Mardi Gras week, I'd wear some beads today. Gold for power. There's also a tattoo shop in here and they have really cute plants for sale. Oh, wow. So they have a full menu of stuff and I was gonna get a chai latte, but they have a Valentine menu. It's almost Valentine's Day. This is so cute. So I got the Honey I'm Home Latte. It's house made honey vanilla syrup, double shot espresso, milk topped with honey cookie, crumble foam, garnished with cinnamon sugar dust, honey drizzle, and honey bear cookies. I love this kind of thing, you know? And they also have some pastries here. And so of course you can do soy milk or almond milk. They have many different options. Look at how cute these like crumble toppings are too. I love this. This is super chill vibes. I'm so glad I found this place. But look at how cool the decor here is as you're going through the restroom. It's like books. Neat, very neat. This gives me those kind of vibes that say you're welcome to come in the coffee shop, grab a coffee, read a book, do your homework, hang out. You know, classic coffee shop vibes. I love that.
Look at how cute. Okay, let's find a small one. It's got cinnamon on it too. Mm. They have these gorgeous long tables and they have outlets all along them so you can plug your devices in. There's people like doing homework and stuff in here. I'm trying the couch area. Plugs everywhere. I kind of moved around and tried different seating and they're all comfortable and this couch is so comfortable. This is definitely gonna be a new favorite coffee shop for me and I'm so glad I found it. I have a list of local coffee shops to try and some have been kind of disappointing because they're more of a cafe which isn't bad it's just you know you like that coffee shop vibe you know where the food is secondary and the coffee is first and it's cool that there's a tattoo shop in here and there's actually like two or three people in there getting tattooed and this couch is comfortable this is delicious it is so good if you like honey you're gonna love it the honey's in there it's subtle and they even asked like do you want it really really sweet like not that sweet medium kind of i said in the middle and it, it's perfectly just like in the middle really good very cool There's a whole crew of little kitty cats <laughs> drinking coffee. Maybe some are having tea. And they all have little like treats. And the folks who work here are super nice too. This guy, I think they said his name is Fern. Nice to meet you, Fern. Cheers, thanks for hanging out. Oh my gosh, this was so fun. Oh look, and it's even got like a bulletin board, you know. I love it. This is pure vibes. This is exactly what I was looking for and it was a great start. It's another really windy day today too. It's lovely. And just to give you an idea, this is about, you know, 15 minutes away from Disney Springs. It's really close to the factory shops, the malls and other stuff. So it's very much in the Disney area. Right now, I am on a super kick of The Gilded Age, the show on HBO. I don't know if you've seen it, but I love it. So I love period pieces, I love costume dramas, and this is like that, but it's very kind of lighthearted and not super heavy, but it is kind of historical fiction and it works in history of that Gilded Age period in New York, which is a very much an interest of mine. Very, very beautiful show, the costumes alone gorgeous but anyway I got I'm listening to the official Gilded Age companion podcast as we drive to the next destination to show you something else that I'll do often on my days off something I really love to do that's also really close in the Disney Universal theme park Orlando area because that's where I live so pretty much most of what I do on a local basis is in that area so hopefully it's helpful to you too if you're vacationing here or live here and you're looking for other stuff to do on your days off you can maybe try some of these things so let's go. In the form of the creator of the Gilded Age, dating Agnes Van Ryan. Unbelievable. I do want to show you though that everywhere I go around this area are these theme park gift shops. You know what, actually we're right here. So let's just stop at one before we go to do the next thing. Like it's right here. These, I've always been fascinated by these shops. I have my camera propped up on my dash, by the way, right now. I just, these exteriors harken back to the early days Head northwest, of tourism. Then you'll oh, arrive sure at your destination. And they're meant to draw tourists in off the road, you know? All right, let's pop in and see what they've got. I just love this. Isn't it? When you see this, you just need to know what's inside, don't you? I know I do. Touristy stuff for really low prices. I love stuff like this. I guess because I just love tourism, you know? $24.99. I do feel like these shops used to be even cheaper than they are now, but still, you know, comparatively, do what makes you happy. You can get hats and bathing suits, and some things are super, super discounted, like $15 bathing suits, dresses. You always have to look for your name on these, don't you? Oh my gosh. They're $4.99, and that's a fun little thing. Florida license plate. But they also have a bunch of toys for less, you know, than you're gonna find other places. Got some discounts here. You can also find these at like Target and Walmart too, so keep your eye out. Look at all the stitch they've got. These 
bags. $14.99. Oh, they have the Disney 100 Mickey and Minnie. Wow. That's really cool. These are so fun to look around in. <laughs> Kevin! Look, they have a bunch of Disney 100 stuff. That's cool. $16.99? You out of your mind? That's pretty awesome. They've also got ears. They're kind of different from the ears you get in the park, but I mean, they do the job, you know? And they're $8 instead of like $40. These look very similar to the ones in the park. And they are official Disney stuff, so it's like eight to 10, 11, $12 at most for some nice ears. I mean, eat that, right? This is neat, a 2024 glow in the dark shirt. This would be cool to wear like out for a night, $16.99. I mean, not, oh, this is soft too. Bunch of cozy lounge sets too, pajamas. Oh, this is just vacation vibes. Oh, and Zoltan's in here too. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. Ooh. Look, he's got little cards he gives you if you want to do a little fun thing there. You can also find these at Old Town, a few other places. Say hi to Zoltan and say, all right, bye-bye. I just find it so fun to look in there. You know, one thing about me is I don't love shopping. Like shopping for clothes, shopping for groceries, they're necessities of life, things that you gotta do and I'll do them. And we do have to stop for something on the way home today that is actual shopping. But I love shopping even if it's just window shopping, like even if it's just looking and I'm not buying anything at theme park stuff and cute stuff. I just love it. So now I'm gonna take you to where we were originally gonna go after the coffee shop. It's just that this is so close to it. I had to pop in. And if you've been curious about what's in them, now you know they all have pretty similar stuff. Slight variations, but Florida and theme park and Orlando centric stuff, gift shop stuff. So let me take you somewhere else that I like to go that is chill and close by. It's like maybe 10 minutes away. Let's go. We've arrived. This is one of several places that I go to sometimes to just go for a walk. Um, some of them are nature parks with the longer trails. Some of them are places like this where there are like kind of trails-ish, but basically like nice walking paths that are really pretty with pretty things to look at. This is Pioneer Village at Shingle Creek. There's also a Pioneer Village here that you can look at. And on the weekends, they sometimes have events and tours and stuff. And I just love the Florida feel here. So let's go for a walk. Again, this is all like within the Disney area, places that you could go to. Let's go. So like the sign says, there's the Pioneer Village here and there's hiking, biking, paddling trails, there's a picnic area. And a reminder from the Kissimmee Police Department, lock your car, keep your keys, take your belongings. Just double checking. <laughs> Undeveloped natural properties. Here are some rules. Sounds good. Let's take a look. You still got this sign up, wow. Oof. This is some of the Pioneer Village here. Very neat to see. And there's all sorts of signs letting you know about the history of this area. And this is like all turn of the century stuff, late 1800s, early 1900s, there's more buildings. But for today, we're here for the walking trails because this is only part of this lovely park. Yeah, it's like eerily quiet. <laughs> I've only seen a couple other people walking around today, which is just the crows and the birds and the wind. And don't get me wrong, I come to these parks for peaceful nature, but it being so quiet did uh, creep me out a little, but I see some people riding bikes and walking now, so it's just not just me and the crows. Let's go to a, a cute spot I like. No, you cloud, go away, come back another day. Not today when I'm out for my walk. Shingle Creek Regional Trail. Now this trail has several different trailheads, different parks that it connects to, and I enjoy all of them at different times. We're at like Pioneer Village here, and so there's this area, and you can ride the canoe, ride the canoe? <laughs> you can bring a canoe and launch it and go up and down. I also love 
these different parts of Shingle Creek. There's bike trails, canoe trails, walking trails, and you would park at different areas unless you're biking, canoeing, or walking between them. But for now, we're, we're in this one. But just so you know, there's a lot more. So I think today we're just gonna do like a little mile walk, simple, chill, leisurely, enjoy this gorgeous day. It's windy, it's mild, it's warm, it's lovely. Uh, normally on a day out vlogging at a theme park, I walk much more than a mile. But for today, we're doing a leisurely one. Let's go get our steps in. Come on here, cooperate with me. And while you're walking, you can check out more of the buildings of the Pioneer Village. Are there sheep back there? Or goats or something? Yeah, there's like sheep and goats. Hello. As soon as I stopped recording, one went ba. Hi, little cutie. You're just gonna have to trust me. It went bang. Did you hear it that time? It's toying with me. Every time I stop recording, it goes bang. That's a pretty good uh, impersonation, right? They're definitely looking at me. <laughs> now you're just messing with me, aren't ya? Florida's in. Up ahead is a canoe or kayak launch and a pretty view of the water. There are trail markers. Let's get up on this boardwalk. Oh, there's a big wasp. Excuse us. Ooh. Here's where you can pop up with your small watercraft and pop it into the water. It feels like summer. It feels just wonderful. It's mossy and muddy here, so you gotta be careful, watch your step. But, wow. Do I wish I had a kayak today? And our cypress knees and see the water here it's clear you know it looks dark it looks brown but if you look with the <laughs> the polarized sunglasses it's not gonna work for you but you know what I'm talking about you look through and you can see through the water it's the color of tea and that's because of tannins from the leaves that fall in it's just so beautiful and peaceful out here. I just love being by the water. I love being out in nature. It clears my head. It makes me happy. You know, you're out in the sunshine, enjoying Florida's beautiful weather. It's one of the best things about living here. So if you're here, for whatever reason, there's a ton of different parks you can go to, nature walks with different lengths and difficulties. The wind is so amazing. I see a little watercraft coming. If they see me, they're gonna be like, what is this lady doing? Oh, back down, it's getting heavy. Let's talk a little bit about like a channel update, life update thing. So most of y'all know we live in you know Orlando, Florida, very, very close to the theme parks. I grew up in Miami, Florida, and I've been coming to Disney and Universal my whole life since I was a kid, and I love it, I love it, love it. I don't think I'd ever take it for granted because I know that how many people out there would love to be able to just pop into Disney World or Universal for an afternoon and be able to just enjoy these places oh, choking on the hair because you live so close because like for instance for Disneyland for me is the way that uh, Disney World is for a lot of people like for us to go to Disneyland it's a big whoop it's expensive it's flights and tickets and hotels and all this stuff and that's how it is for Disney World and Universal and most of the things here for most people who don't live in Florida, whether you drive or you fly, it's a whole thing. And so that's why, you know, I love to do casual vlogs in the parks, but even when I do them, I always try to add in valuable information for you, like little details that are easy to notice when you're rushing around or, oh, that's a crazy looking little lizard, or little tips to help you make the most of your trip, new things that are going on that could be easy to miss and not know about if you happen to be visiting at any time of the year, even like what the weather's like and what things are like to help you pack. 
little things I always try to add in little tips and info and details and history little bits of history and behind the scenes anything that I can add in to kind of like when you come on your trip and you can go oh yeah you know Jackie told me about this or that and when people tell me that I help them find a new place to eat notice a cool photo op spot or something anything different that they might not have found otherwise it fills my heart with so much happiness because it's helping you make the most of your time and your money and your trip and that it just brings me so much joy doing that hi <laughs> I see some kayakers. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. What a nice day. They said hi to me really nicely. I hope you guys have a great day. But yeah, so all that to say is that I have really been just enjoying going out to Disney and Universal and I don't know, I don't think I would ever take for granted being able to live close enough to enjoy those places that I love and being able to pop over and share things with you, share the vibe and like what's going on and what's new and things like that. And I hope you enjoy them too because I know it's different, you know, I, I have my own style of doing things and I think that it's important to march to the beat of your own drum, do things your own way and the real ones, the people who get it, will get it and be there with you. There's all sorts of little holes in the ground. There's probably little crabs here, little bits of Spanish moss and like ant piles and different things. Nature. But of course, we also love to travel and see new things and do new things. And thankfully Sam loves it as much as I do. We love a road trip actually prefer a road trip to flying but some places you just gotta fly and we do have some very fun trips planned for this year that I'm excited for they're a little ways off but I am very happy to be enjoying and sharing with you what's here in Orlando Florida because this is home so it makes sense that the majority of what I do and what I share is going to be here in Florida where I live and I'll always try to bring you things that will help you when you come to visit, or even if you're a local, show you things that, you know, are cool <laughs> and fun and different and neat. And even this, hopefully, if you're ever here and you're like, you know what, I just need a day off from all the noise and the hecticness, and I wanna go for a walk, that you can seek out some pretty nature trails and go for a walk and, and just enjoy Florida. Florida. I'm excited for our travels this year and to take you to do new things and see new things too. I just love the variety. It's the spice of life, the spice of life variety. Enjoying this beautiful place that I'm so grateful to live with fellow enthusiasts and cool people like you and also traveling and going new places and uh, bringing you along for that too. I love the sound of leaves crunching. It's easy to forget what season it is. Oh, someone's got a puppy. Hi puppy, it's okay. Shh. Here in Florida, because right now, it feels like a weird mixture of like fall and spring and summer. I don't even know what it feels like, but it definitely does not feel like February, winter. This is technically winter. This is what it's like living in Florida. I'm gonna go for a nice walk. I know there are a lot of places in the U.S. and all around the world with beautiful parks you can walk in. And they all have their own special characteristics. And there are definitely parks that are more lush and have more of a canopy. This is just one of many. Whew. You scared me too, little buddy. I didn't mean to startle you. Okay, bye-bye. Look at that weird cloud. Doesn't it look like a face? Like a weird baby doll face? Like the baby you'd find in a king cake. It's a Mardi Gras sign. Okay, I am blasting the air right now. Apologies, but it got warm out there. Normally when I go on walks like that, I'm wearing shorts. I don't have my camera with me. And I usually have a smaller bag. I just have like my normal stuff with me today. So it got, as you can probably see, a little bit red. 
it is warm out today. It's only in the like 80s-ish, but when you're, you know, walking a little mile out in the sun and the heat, that was an awesome walk. But anyway, it's time to run some real errands. <laughs> run a little errand. If you live in Florida, grew up in Florida, or even visit, chances are you've shopped at a Publix before. Publix just feels like home. It's not the only grocery chain here in Florida, but it's the biggest, and it's one of Florida's biggest employers, actually. It's been around for a long time, and it is quintessentially Florida for shopping. Fun fact about me and Sam is that Sam does most of the cooking at home. He cooks our dinner nearly every night. I know it may seem like uh, we eat in the theme parks a lot, but actually the majority of our meals are at home. Sam is a wonderful cook, actually. He can cook a variety of dishes and they're delicious, so he has just taken over that terrain. So since I'm out running errands, I'm gonna pick up for him one of those ingredients and who knows maybe a few other things but we also shop at Aldi we really like Aldi because they have great prices they actually don't have what I need today at Aldi that's the thing about Aldi it's great prices and there's a lot of great products but they don't have everything you know Publix carries like everything oh it just got dark okay that's our sign to go shopping Valentine's Day stuff, how cute. You know what they say, stop and smell the flowers. They really do smell pretty, fresh and lovely. I think what I need is in the international section. Some of the like British things Sam gets are there. And that's another thing I love about Florida Publix. All of the international variation of food you can get. We gotta go to European. They have a bunch of English food too. Uh, is it here? There it is. Bisto. <laughs> he loves Bisto gravy. Listen, you're not even gonna escape Disney at the grocery store. <laughs> not here. <laughs> I love the produce section at Publix. I feel like it has the freshest stuff. And you know when you ask, hey, do we need anything else? There's always something else. So that's a nice onion. Oh my gosh, king cake! Yay! I get king cake every year for Mardi Gras. We're trying so hard to, you know, just not, but I'm very tempted. It even comes with a baby you could put inside, or sometimes they put the baby in for you. <gasps> Should I? Oh gosh, I want to. The bread they make here is divine. And then of course, we all know the famous pub sub as they are called. Look, the pickup area here wiped out right now. The pub subs that you can get with all sorts of different meats and cheeses and veggies and boar's head and this, that, and the other and different kinds of breads. This is like the ultimate pub sub, the ultimate. You cannot go wrong. It's delicious, it smells so good right now. All right, I'm doing it. I'm getting a king cake. Tomorrow is Mardi Gras. Cinnamon is the only way to go. So there's like cheese and different stuff. No, 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 it's gotta be cinnamon. This doesn't even fit in my basket. <laughs> so cute. Well, there's like teacher gifts. Teaching is a work of heart. That's cute if you wanna give your teacher a Valentine's gift. <gasps> that was me looking at the king cake. That was exactly my face. Got what I needed and then some. And that's the problem with going to Publix. You get what you need and then some. Okay, let's head home. Honey, I'm home. Hello. How is Welcome it home. going? Thank you. How was your? It was fun. It was really fun. I just made coffee number two. No, I had such a good coffee. We have to go to this place I found. I got us king cake. I mean, it is Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the phone with family. Bye. 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 Listen to that sizzle. All right, we just had a family phone call. Sam's actually cooking. I just like to step in to do a little yeah, stirring. Every time I'm cooking, you like to come. I like to come and do a little stirring, stirring right? And you're just helping. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Do you know what my favorite contraction in the kitchen is? What? The secret? What? Air fryer. <laughs> 
Yeah, you love the air fryer. Love the air fryer's going, food's cooking and boiling and sizzling. I'm excited for dinner. Oh my goodness, this dinner looks so good. So it's chicken sausage, a bunch of red onion and Brussels sprouts, mashed potatoes, all homemade with love. And now we're gonna enjoy it. So bon appetit, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this real life day in the life living here in Orlando, Florida, very close to Kissimmee and Lake Buena Vista and the places, the theme parks, <laughs> Disney World, Universal, SeaWorld, Disney Springs, International Drive, all the touristy gift shops and stuff, Old Town, Celebration, that's all very nearby and we're surrounded by it and we love it. A lot of times when I'm driving around, I see the Walt Disney World sign because there's entrances on a few different roads and I'll see them and I'm like, oh, living here often we'll also go other places you know there's many different ways a day like this could look normally a day like this would be like a non-video day but this wasn't a non-video day because I did make a video of the non-video day you get where I'm going with this you get what I'm saying I brought you along and I really enjoyed it I like making videos I really really do so it's fun for me to do this the editing part is a little tedious but I still do enjoy editing. I enjoy the creative process of putting things together, pull the story together at the end, and that is half the fun and half the battle. And of course, there are days when we're just in the office doing computer work, all the different things that we do on the computer. And those days, I mean, what kind of a vlog would that make? Not much of one. So, happy Mardi Gras, happy Shrove Tuesday, Fat Tuesday, happy week, happy February, happy everything. I'll be coming at you, of course, again with more videos soon. Thank you for hanging out with me for something a little different. Again, I just really enjoyed it, so I hope that you did too, and I hope I can incorporate videos like this in kind of in the regular rotation of theme park videos and updates and travels and stuff like that. It's really good to have variety. It keeps it very fun and fresh for me and hopefully for you as well. That's what we wanna do here. Keep it fun, keep it fresh. What am I doing? I don't know. That means it's time to wrap up. Thanks again for hanging out with me. I am sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.